So in an ideal world, I'd ask you what your revenue streams are and how much you're making. I don't know if you're comfortable answering that question or if you want to answer it in a, a, a specific type of way, but what can what can we tell it? What can you tell us? What can we learn? Absolutely happy to. So I, I actually um share a lot of this normally on Twitter because I'm quite happy to like share openly with like money earn and like affiliates and sponsorships and all those kind of things. Awesome. Just finding my spreadsheet at the moment, just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> So, for example, this is like, uh, and obviously months can vary depending on what's going on and number of sponsorships and like, you know, this is also my coaching clients and things as well. So, um, roughly speaking, a typical month could be anywhere from like 20 grand to 30 grand's worth of income, like total revenues throughout the whole month. Um, And the split of that is roughly about 70, again, depends on like 60 to 70% of that is just YouTube income. And then the 40 to whatever percent is that like the coaching side of things and like my courses and, and other things that we've got going on. Gotcha. Um, now, amazing. on the YouTube side of things, there's a, a bit of a split down on there. So there's AdSense is like the first one that most people go to. And AdSense for me is anywhere from like a couple of grand, 1,500 pounds a month or something. And it doesn't really seem to change. And this has been quite frustrating because like if, if I look back to April 2022, I was earning 1,441 pounds in AdSense. And in February 2023, I'm earning £1,839 in AdSense. And yet, my four hundred pounds in a year. And channels doubled in size since then, and more than doubled in size. So, like, double the size, like, we were getting, like, probably five times the views, maybe even 10 times the views as well. Um, But the revenue doesn't do whatever because, you know, the YouTube revenues generally for a lot of people has gone down over the last, you know, kind of year or so because recession yeah. worries and all these kind of things. So our views have been going up, but the revenue's been going down. So it's kind of leveled out at you know, same and breaking even. Um, sure. So YouTube AdSense is like the it's it's like the cherry on top that people shouldn't like plan on having. It's the yeah, it's just a bit of extra kind of I don't want to call it beer money because it's a lot of beer, <laughs> but it's like that <laughs> kind of thing of just it's just extra money coming in. But um, don't rely on that alone. Don't rely, don't rely on it at all. Like the thing for us that first started taking off was affiliates and affiliate, we can earn anything from like five to eight grand a month on wow. affiliates. And this is just, and this is it's so stupid. Like I, I literally mention things in videos and like people click on the links and they go buy them or whatever. And I earn like a little, little cut on it over the time. Mm-hmm. And even so much in, um, you know, I've, I've made videos comparing like the cloud storage services or, you know, VPNs or whatever. And again, like talking about testing things out, I've added links, like affiliated links to the the ones I basically said in the video, don't buy these, they're they're not very good. But people still click on those links and they still buy the blimmin' products, even though I've literally <laughs> said in the video, don't do it, it's bad. But wow. it's, I, I just find it so fascinating. Um, but again, if I don't do that, then you're missing out on a chunk of revenue that you could otherwise have as well. So it's worth Leaving money on the table. Yeah, exactly that. So uh, yeah, uh, affiliates was always like one of the big ones. The one that's um, really rocketed in the last, well, last six months or so, I guess, has been sponsorships for me, where the, you know, we've been really focusing on the channel. We've been getting relatively consistent, uh, decent views on our videos until like the last two or three we've made. Um, so that's attracted bigger sponsorships. But also, uh, when I said that I hired a friend of mine to work with me, the, one of the key things he was here to work on was sponsorships. So his job is basically to make sure that we've got, um, you know, our video sponsored at good rates as well. And we actually sure. went uh, we went through a decision probably two months ago or three months ago where we were making two videos a week and instead we're just going to do one video a week. So we've got half the amount of work to do, but those videos were going to be banger videos. So they're going to be like ones that really, really we, we feel passionately are going to do really, really well. And also they're going to be sponsored and, and again, at like a decent sponsorship rate. And that mm-hmm. could be anywhere from like, you know, from, I don't want to say like rates particularly, but like a few grand to like a few more grand. It's like, you know, we're not earning 10 grand plus for a sponsorship or anything like that, but it's yeah. like a few grand for a video here and there. Um, Adam, so yeah. um, split between YouTube revenue and business coaching revenue, YouTube revenue, your uh, ad re- you're getting money from AdSense, from affiliate marketing and from sponsorships. Uh, is there any other income sources there or are those just three uh, YouTube sources? I think that's, I mean, and there's a few like minor, minor things in there. Uh, Medium. So my blog posts that go onto Medium, that's small but growing on that one. We only started that recently. And like, you know, YouTube, um, is it like YouTube memberships, whatever they call it? So I've got oh, yeah, like yeah. A, that, that thing, like I probably earn like a couple of dollars a month from from that. That's, you know, gotcha. really not pushing it much at all. Um, and we, we try and like Patreon and those kind of things. But again, probably earning like a, a dollar a month from those kind of things. 
Yeah. Uh, and it sounds like of those three, the two biggest ones are affiliate marketing and sponsorships. Uh, which yeah. would you say is bigger of those two? Um, it, it depends how many sponsorships we close a month, but it probably is going towards sponsorships nowadays. Wow. Um, okay. So don't unless we get around till Christmas, because at Christmas time affiliates takes off because obviously everyone's like spending money on like Christmas shopping, and that really really goes well. Everyone's in the buying mood. Yeah. Or yeah, Black yeah. Friday as well, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs>